only 28% of Americans says that the president inspires confidence. I don't think he's gonna pull his shoe. That was my phone. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. What does Joe Biden have in common with drunk best men at a wedding or drunk 40 year old women at a karaoke bar? Well, everyone just wants to snatch the mic and say, ah, yeah, 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 you're done grandpa, you're done grandpa. And that's exactly what they did to Joe Biden this weekend in Vietnam. That's right, Joe Biden decided to spend September 11th in a communist country worshiping the Saudis. Well, what does that tell you? Incredible moment as White House staff abruptly end Biden's rambling Vietnam press conference mid-sentence and cut his mic. This seems like a salacious headline until you actually watch the clip. Check this out. We talked about at the conference overall, we talked about stability. We talked about making sure that the third world, the, uh, excuse me, third world, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Southern hemisphere had access to change it, had access to we, it wasn't confrontational at all. He came up with thank, thank you, everybody. This ends thank, the count press thank conference. You. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. They give him the hook. They just shut up. You've thanked enough people. That's what they just did to Joe Biden. Who's really in charge? The resident of the United States of America. That's how it ended. It, it, it started off even worse. You might remember the Robin Williams movie, Good Morning Vietnam. Watch this. Good evening, dude. It's been on the world in five days. It's interesting. Well, uh, you know, there's that one of my staff members said, I heard a famous song, you know, Good Morning Vietnam. Well, good evening, Vietnam. Literally hear uh, the staffers uh, screaming, No! Stop! Shut the F up! And it didn't get better from there. That there are other things on leaders' minds, and they respond to what's needed at the time. And look, and look, nobody, nobody likes likes having having celebrated celebrated international meetings. International meetings, got it? If you don't know what you want. Can we look at the face of the look at the face of the sign language interpreter? Look at that. Look at this person. This person deserves a uh, medal of some sort. Like, like it's similar to like war zone situation where she's like, has no idea what the F is going to come at her next. Look at this poor, poor individual. And it, get, it get, gets worse. At the meeting, if you don't have a game plan, he may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> And then they cut, yeah, they like cut talk, the mic. We talked about what we talked about at the con Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, look at that poor sign language lady. Look at her face. Oh, but it gets worse. Here's Joe Biden talking about Indians and John Wayne and reservations. My, my brother loves having his famous lines from movies that he always quotes. You know, and one, one of them is there was... There's a movie about John Wayne, he's an Indian scout, and they're trying to get, the, I think it's Apache, one of the great tribes in America, back on the reservation. And he's standing with the Union, so he's in raw arms, they're in, in their, on their horses and their saddles, and there's three or four Indians in headdresses, and the Union soldiers, the Union soldiers basically saying, the Indians, come with me, we'll take care of the movie, everything will be good. And the Indian scout, the Indian looks at John Wayne and points to the Union scout and says, he's a lion dog-faced pony soldier. Well, there's a lot of lion dog-faced pony soldiers out there, bud. Oh, oh, my God. All right. Got it? Remember? Remember when Joe Biden called someone a lion dog-faced pony soldier? Now he explained it. It all had to do with John Wayne putting Indians on an Indian reservation. You know you're not allowed to say reservation or Indian anymore, Joe. It is amazing what happens when you have, like, it is amazing what happens when you have uh, these people that are, d like, drifting into senility. And you have you ever been with somebody on a hospice bed? Like, they start to, like, lose touch with reality. This is precisely what you are witnessing here. And again, as ever, it gets worse. Thank you, Mr. President. I hope you didn't think that calling only on women would get you softballs tonight. <laughs> well, I know better than that. 
Okay, well, let me start with President Xi. If you send me a softball, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I'd probably strike out even worse. Oh, I got it. Because you're a woman and you play softball, right? Got it? You sent me softball. I would know what to do. You'd know what to do because you're a woman. You play softball, right? Because you're a lady folk. By the way, never don't ask about Tara Reid or me taking showers with my daughter. And uh, let's see. I'm just following my orders here. Just following my orders. Uh. I'll follow my orders here. Hey, staff. Staff. Hey, staff. Staff. Staff, is there anybody haven't spoken? Right is there anybody who has I called I said they have five questions. <laughs> I need it. Be away. A staff, is there anybody who hasn't spoken yet? In case you're wondering how rehearsed and how performative all this garbage is. Joe Biden's poll numbers causing concern for Democrats ahead of 2024. Numerous allies of Joe Biden have expressed their disappointment in the 80-year-old's poll numbers. The numbers come as the president faces a fresh questioning of his mental state following bizarre press conference in Vietnam. Yes, that's right. Donald Trump is leading Joe Biden in virtually every single poll. Yes, that's right. Those polls never showed Donald Trump leading Joe Biden in any of the 2020 polls. Yes, that's right. Donald Trump is getting more popular. Yes, that's right. Donald Trump is leading by 50, between 40 and 50 different points in virtually every single poll in the Republican field. Yes, that's right. What are what 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 new hell do they have for 2024 for us to, to try and stop this? Or are they just going to swap do the swap switcheroo with Kamala? Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, we know we know that we should end communism and that we should fight it. And that is what this channel is all about. Like, share, and subscribe. God help us. See ya.